Shalom again friends, this is John Bob back, um, hope you enjoyed the last video and looked at the links that I left there because it means that we can cover even more subjects in the second video if you go back and take a look at the links on the first video. Now it was Hitler's intent to make the Jews a burnt offering to his pagan demon or god and thus this yellow badge with the name Jude, meaning the tribe of Judah within it and as pagans and witches and so on do they use this paganism and as you can see this demonstration here even the name of Yahweh and Yeshua Yahshua has been put in this hexagram and as we read of late that the Catholic Church has rejected the name of Yahweh and Yahshua and even banned it from their congregational services if you just take a look at this article here that explains what the Catholic Church has been doing now it does actually say that this is a long-standing Jewish practice actual fact a long-standing rabbinical Jewish practice and I think one practice that Yahshua the son and uh, the Messiah of Israel did not practice himself and as we read in John 16 and 17 he came to manifest his father's name to his disciples so it's highly highly unlikely that this is a move of Jesus Christ or Yahshua the Messiah because he came to glorify the father's name and manifest it to his disciples so I reckon that when Yahweh is withdrawing his name from a certain church then it means that judgment is quite imminent and there is the bride and there is the harlot as described in the book of Revelation and it's up to us to discern which one this is so the seal of Solomon the star knowledge that obviously some of the Pharisees had bought into and obviously became some kind of allies with pagans from other nations the ancient secrets of Egypt, the ancient secrets of Rome. Rome itself is actually built on the star map of Pleiades, the seven stars representing the seven hills and also the star map here in Mars is the same knowledge that these secret societies have been guarding and is believed where these fallen angels or many of them have come from. Now for some strange reason um, Gorilla199 has banned me from actually commenting on his videos because I disagree with his thesis and conclusion that the Sabbath day is based on the Gregorian calendar system because this itself is based on astrology and the worship of false gods and deities. Israel itself is in fornication and it says in one of the prophets that it's actually went and married a foreign god or a strange god now the reason that Israel was divorced and Judah wasn't was because King Jeroboam, one of the first kings of Israel, changed the actual dates of Yahweh's feasts and stopped doing them. And as we see here, this is the very reason that my own wife um, has wanted a divorce from me because I do the feasts of Israel, I observe them in the Father's grace because as long as I stay in Yahshua the Messiah his Torah and festivals and feast times are written on my heart and mind and I know that Yahshua my Saviour is the fulfillment of each of them and that's why I can rejoice and not let any man judge me for observing a new moon or Sabbath day whereas the pagans listen to the false teaching the reverse teaching of what Paul was revealing in Colossians and they just go down the same road as apostate Israel. Now in the days of apostate Israel um, the wife in the household became the priestess and worshipped the host of heaven which generally the Gregorian calendar is for and this matriarchal spirit which is in the church and is called the harlot is all about serving self, is all about serving the flesh. The mega whore is the fallen fleshly nature of man which Satan and the fallen angels use and feed them all kinds of knowledge of good and evil universities are set up to teach people all kinds of knowledge of good and evil nothing of the true God, nothing of Yahweh Yahweh's name is even taken out of most of the so-called Bible translations today but this voice of rebuke and correction is not heard by the harlot she just turns the other way and keeps pursuing the fleshly things that she wants even though it warns the harlot in the book of Revelation that she will be utterly burned with fire and destroyed unless she repents now and now means now now here's more knowledge that New Agers seem to find amazing and um, are able to sort of 
I don't know exactly what they do with this information, but maybe they're meant to get in tune with the universe or something like that. But um, it is, I suppose, knowledge. Um, it's not knowledge unto salvation that John the Baptist came to give Israel, but it's knowledge of good and evil, it seems. Now, these chakras, I would suggest, um, looking up here from the tailbone right up to the forehead, I would generally suggest that Satan is attacking all these chakras in man. And as you see the symbol there for the heart, which is the flag of Israel. Um, so from a sort of worldly perspective, we know that Jerusalem is truly the heart of world affairs at the moment. And it says in the Bible that those that concern themselves with Jerusalem, it will be a cup of trembling to them. But this is the type of knowledge that Solomon got his hands on and it corrupted them. This is now the basis of the knowledge of the grand delusion that's coming upon man in this last hour. The fact that Satan knows that the last battle of Armageddon will be from Israel and as we read in the book of Zechariah that the entire earth will unite against Israel and then the battle of Armageddon will take place. Now the big big distinction between the bride and the harlot is our ability to use Yahweh's creation the way it's meant to be used and we are commanded by the Father not to worship the host of heaven and yet we have astrological signs that people believe that if they are born under a certain sign such as Scorpio which I believe is uh, the Draco constellation that you have certain characteristics and so on this is all false information the stars are really they are to tell the biblical narration of the Saviour. The star constellation Bethula being Virgo, um, Yeshua born of a virgin, and then we have the Lion, obviously from the tribe of Judah, who is going to come back as the conquering king. And, you know, we, we, we hear of the Israelites being rebuked for having star gods, you know, um, Yahweh rebuking them in the book of Acts. It speaks about that. Stephen rebukes the Pharisees, which shows us that um, the Pharisees had this knowledge and were corrupt. We see the illustrations above actually does happen on earth and has happened on the earth. So when it speaks of a conflict between the dragon and the woman and the twelve stars which represent the tribes of Israel, these conflicts have really happened on the earth and even in the heavens as well. Some speculate that the Regalians are very much linked to reptilian DNA, who are the ones that perhaps interbred with the women on Earth to produce Nephilim. We have reports of astronomers seeing that um, many stars have been destroyed in the constellation of Orion, which is believed to be a huge stargate for many beings in the universe to get around from. And finally, we're just going to end with a vision that Freddie Haler got about the second coming of Yeshua, the Messiah, coming from that star constellation Orion, the center star, representing also this scripture in Malachi about the breaker coming forth. And just before we go there, I thought I'd mention the game Tribal Wars, where I formed a tribe called Israel, and two members joined to form Orion's Belt. So if I see you on there, um, hopefully we'll do some happy witnessing for you Yashua had Messiah. a vision of the last days, sure. and it was. Uh, we only have a, a couple of minutes. Right. Would you describe this? Would you look in the camera and describe it? Yes, um, I was out in my backyard. There's no way to describe this other than to say, and a cataclysmic vision came to me, and I noticed above my home, I saw the constellation Orion. And, you know, the Orion is a famous uh, constellation mentioned in Job 9, verse 9, and in Amos and other scriptures. But anyway, there's a famous belt that runs across Orion, and, and there's three stars, and then there's three stars that go south of it, that's the sword. But this represents uh, one of the most powerful uh, statements God's ever made in the night sky. Uh, I began to see the middle star explode and become rushing toward the earth and I looked at the light 
and it was rushing like a great supernova, and I heard this cataclysmic explosion. And then I heard, literally resounding through the atmosphere of the entire atmosphere of heaven, the troposphere, whatever, all six billion people screaming out, some most in terror, some in joy. And I felt this, my spirit rising up within me with great joy. And I began to worship God. And I noticed my wife and children began to worship God. And we began to be, be lifted into the air. And as the white cloud, the supernova, came closer and closer, I heard thunders and lightnings. And I could see the angelic hosts and the heavenly hosts of heaven. It was glorious beyond description.